and you say, hey, my prices are good. My prices are good. Not a fan. When I started my business two years ago, I took on mostly bi-weekly customers. Most of them should have been weekly. How do I approach customers to switch them all to weekly without losing them? So, um, great question. I made an entire webinar, like an hour long about weekly versus bi-weekly and if you should have bi-weekly service. I would recommend if you're just trying to switch people from bi-weekly service to weekly service, there's two different routes I would go. The first route is if you know you need to raise prices anyways, I would pitch to everyone the two different prices. Here's your new prices for weekly. Here's your new price prices for bi-weekly service. Which one would you like? And I truly believe you can charge 50% more for bi-weekly. All right. I don't believe in like, oh, it's $30 for weekly and $35 for bi-weekly. Not a fan. 50%. And I truly believe that if you went to all of these customers and say, hey, look, look, Mr. Jones, right now you're paying $40 for bi-weekly service. We're needing to raise our prices, but what we're trying to do is make it more affordable for our clients. So we're going to do $35 bi-weekly and then $55 for bi-weekly service. What, did I say that right? Uh, $35 for weekly, $55 for bi-weekly. I'm just making up numbers, but you see what I did there, right? 40 is what they're paying for bi-weekly right now. I'm going to raise that price, let's just say to 50, but then I'm going to give them the option of the $35 for weekly service. So Again, that would be option one if I'm trying to raise prices and do what you just talked about, and that is switch people to weekly. Now, if you're like, hey, my prices are good, my prices are fine, but now I'm trying to change people from bi-weekly service to weekly service, what you need to do is pitch to them that they're getting a cheaper per cut price by switching to weekly. Say, hey, hey everyone, we are now offering weekly services. We're trying to encourage our customers to go to that option because it's better for us from a scheduling standpoint. In order to facilitate this change, we're now gonna be charging only X amount and give them like a five or $10 discount or even $15 depending on your price. Let's say for example, you're doing $60 bi-weekly and you say, hey, my prices are good. My prices are good. Okay, well then let's give them $40 weekly, $60 bi-weekly. Give them a discount to go to weekly service if that's what you were trying to push towards. Again, in that second scenario, I'm assuming your prices are correct. But if you're wanting to do it where you raise prices now, you're going to kind of split both ways. So if you're doing 40 right now, you're going to offer them 35 and for weekly and $50 for bi-weekly. Um, so I hope that made sense. And I truly believe weekly is better. It's better for scheduling. It's just so much easier in terms of when you have employees uh, and making sure that there, there's level amounts of work that uh, is on the schedule. But that's how I would go about trying to switch people from bi-weekly to weekly service. Always remember that choosing weekly service gives them a discount. There is not an, uh, not an upcharge for going bi-weekly. Same exact thing, but how you how you your verbiage behind that is important. Instead of saying, "Hey, Mr. Jones, look, you're at forty dollars. I'm gonna have to charge you sixty dollars to go biweekly." How you look at it is, your price is sixty dollars per cut. That's on a biweekly basis. But if you go to weekly, we can give you a discount at forty. Exact same prices. How you phrase it is the part that's important. I'd like to invite you to Landscape Summit. It's the conference we have in January of 2022. Go to landscapebusinesscourse.com slash conference for more details. We talk about P4P efficiencies and how you can grow your lawn care and landscaping business. I look forward to seeing you there.